Mental illness affects people from all races, nations, cultures, different economic statuses, different education levels, and male and female equally. I became ill when I was 14, but after over 30 years of struggle, perseverance, and determination, I emerged an artist, an author, and public speaker on mental health issues. My name is Sandra Yun McKay. I have schizoaffective disorder, which is a combination of schizophrenia and a mood disorder. So I have the paranoia and delusions and, and psychosis of uh, schizophrenia, but also the extreme mood swings of bipolar disorder. For me, one of the uh, keys to my recovery process has been creativity. So that's one of the reasons I want to speak to you today is to just t share with you how creativity has impacted my life be it through writing you know, a story, a poem, um, creating a painting, cr creating a drawing. Um, those are all ways I can express myself and through self-expression, I believe I can uh, bridge the gap between my mental illness and objective reality. In my memoir, My Schizophrenic Life, I talk about the connection to, between my art, my imagination, and my schizoaffective disorder. So I found that the act of writing was really a, a positive experience for me. It was very, um, healthy for me to purge a lot of the ideas that I had, a lot of the things that I went through and be able to let go of the past and move on with the future. I'm really excited to show you my artwork today. Come with me, I'd like to invite you to see some of my work. This painting, Mindbender, is about altered states of the mind. So it, it sort of um, illustrates the chemical imbalance in my brain and the, and the uh, fragmentation of my thoughts. Um, my mind is in a constant flux, so I find this painting, you know, each color, each form, each shape is part of a symbol for a life experience, an idea, um, a memory, a feeling that I had in the past, and it accumulates into this work. This painting is called October. Um, I like to use a lot of hot, vivid colors, sometimes straight out of the tube, so you can sort of see how the colors uh, vibrate against each other a little bit because of the analogous and complementary um, juxtapositions. I really wanted to create a sort of tension between the, the shape on the left and the shape on the right. And so this is, it's very much a, on a foremost level, a visual level of um, play of color and light. This painting is uh, called number two. So it was the second in a series of abstract expressionist works I was uh, experimenting with. And I think for me, it's about transcendence. It's about, you know, the blue uh, reaching out, reaching up from the depths to the light, the hope, um, something in the heavens above him. So for me, it's, it, it is abstract in a way, but it also has a meaningful uh, spiritual message for me. I find that with antipsychotic medication though that I take, I need enough to stay well, but I also need um, a low enough dosage that I can still be fluid in my artwork because antipsychotic medication can dull the senses, kind of like, you know, just desensitize yourself to the world. So it's really important to, to be on a medication that allows me to be able to be creative. This is one of my favorite paintings. It's called Fraternal. So sort of like uh, there's, it's about genes to tell you the truth about, you know, if you want to take, say it literally, it's about um, the different aspects of the same thing, like twins. Um, for me, um, this painting really has a sense of joy, a sense of uh, revelation, freedom, you know, there's a little brightness, vividness, vivacity to the painting. Um, I really enjoy acrylic painting. I find it to be of a direct process. I don't have to think about uh, process. I don't have to think about sticking to a plan. It just kind of happens on canvas. My father was an architect, so he taught me a lot about design, composition, and linearity. So when I came to this painting, it's called Lake Painting. Um, there's, there's sort of a mood, mood difference between the purple, dark purple trees are sort of elegant, decorative in a way, but also the sky is sort of like very hopeful, uh, sort of these target states happening in the background. So there's a sort of a play on emotion, different emotions. Um, so I think for something like this, accidents are part of the process. So, you know, if I, if I find something, experiment in some certain way, it can really contribute to the work. Uh, because I have very active, uh, overactive imagination, you know, because I have a mental illness, um, I can really, you know, disappear into delusions, go down the path of getting angry or, or emotionally um, upset about, about things that I'm thinking about that are, that are um, disturbing. So I think through painting, if I can um, apply that same energy and make it something aesthetic, make, make something that's beautiful, I think that's constructive. If I hadn't become ill, I think I could have been in a calendar teacher or something like that. 
But I think, you know, for me, I found um, a release through creativity, like many artists do, uh, be they mentally ill or not. Um, so this type of painting for me is about um, these connections, you know, having connections with other people, having connections with other things. Abstraction for me is about transformation from the representational. It's uh, transcendence from the physical world. But personal transformation came for me when I found an identity, an identity that said, you know, I want to be an artist, I want to be a writer. So finding those goals and pursuits um, really gave me purpose in life and a sense of self-fulfillment. And that's what I wish for every one of you, is that if you can um, access that inspiration that drives you, that pushes you towards uh, doing things that are productive, things you want to do, uh, that can give you a lot of satisfaction in life and contentment and also can make you healthier spiritually, psychologically, and mentally. In conclusion, I just want to share with you, I'm having a show starting this uh, Saturday, June 1st, which it'll extend the whole of June. And we're doing Images of Italy. It's a group of uh, artists, we're called the Espresso Gang. And we are a collective and we uh, join together at Cafe Rustico at 3136 Main Street in Vancouver. So if you're by that way, come to our opening June 1st at 7 p.m. And here's a preview of what you might see at that show. So if you'd like to find out more about me and my art or my book, uh, you can find a, a link to my book on Amazon. Uh, or else um, you can also uh, check out my website where I have different uh, samples of my art or links to my art. I'm also on Facebook. Um, I'd like to thank Wayne's World Studio for uh, videotaping me. And I thought I'd thank you for um, dropping by. Thank you very much.